I should be here at 8.30. It's 8.15, but it's a Monday, which means um, there's absolutely no traffic whatsoever. Um, so I just made it a little bit earlier than anticipated. I really like my outfit today. I really couldn't think of an outfit. And then I came up with this and I was like, I love this. So I'm wearing this like really pretty it's supposed to be a dress but i'm wearing it as a skirt right now because originally when i bought this and it was an oops on their end they had this as a skirt and then it had like a tube top really cute i was like okay i'm gonna buy that uh because it was 80 dollars. but i was like well you get two pieces for 80 dollars. that's not too bad but then i got it and i only got the skirt or the dress i was like okay there's something missing so i contacted them. they're like oh just return it and we'll send it back and we'll send you a new one with the piece that's missing and the piece never came so i was like okay great yeah but i still like it and i haven't worn it i bought it uh a while ago actually and it looks really cute with like this like um gray sweater from i think it's from asian Good morning, everyone. Our weekly washer. You fix my hair. This is so ugly, but it is what it is. Weekly washer session. I have really have allergies, and my face has been very puffy lately, so we have to fix that. And. This is what I use, it's the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrated Oil, like night oil, if you think that. And I just do it by section. And then, I'm not, I don't know how to do this properly, but I know it kind of like helps. Alright, I'm about to get ready, or get ready to go buy me some tuna because i wanna do i wanna do um rice and tuna for lunch try not to spend money um tuna cans are like two dollars so that's way cheaper than <laughs> ten dollars or fifteen dollars because everything is so expensive nowadays um uh, when it comes to food like the things that used to be this is not working for me things that used to be like five dollars or ten things that used to be ten dollars are now like 20 and it's like what's happening like i can't afford this lifestyle you know so we're gonna learn how to make food and kind of like detox from fast food i feel like something that is not talked about uh, the chemicals in fast food or like food that you eat out um kind of make you addicted to it um like if you go abroad let's say italy or like a place that maybe europe that doesn't have that many fast food you like start to crave fast food it's kind of creepy um i know that happens to me because i eat a lot of fast food so let's start this journey of detoxing from fast food and saving hopefully saving money because i feel like i spend so much money on groceries and then they disappear so let's pick an outfit and that consists of hoodies because i love my hoodies i think i want to do like a actual hoodie because it's like 19 29 degrees outside it's really cold um and it's gonna get colder as the week goes i think it's gonna hit the negatives and i'm not looking forward to that like i'm gonna stay in my little apartment and not leave in the house um this is my favorite probably one of my favorite hoodies ever it is by shadow hill i thought i saw bleach <laughs> it is by shadow hill it is like the original design that they came up with and i love this so much i don't think they make it anymore um, I wish I would have bought the blue when I could because they had it for they actually had this design for a while um, It is like a classic Every time I wear this someone compliments me on it and it's literally so simple It's a black hoodie and then it just has like neon green on the sides super simple, but it is so comfortable and It's just like 
perfect it's like plain but not plain and it just like works so i think i'm gonna do this leggings and i think i might do sneakers i have socks already on so um let's change this up all right guys i made it um and i want to do this little haul so this is our american book It is a dress and it reminds me of something from my girl on. Oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> look at it. Tell me this wouldn't look cute with the fisherman sandals that I haven't bought yet. <gasps> so cute and so pretty. I also found another pair that I like at Anthropology. And I'm like, I'm Anthropology, Madewell, and this other website. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Maywell. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna use those shoes a lot. And this dress is just literally everything. I am obsessed. Um, I have to say I'm working with Hudson has gone smaller. <coughs> it's just getting my when you're ordering from them. I'm also I have game weight, it's just a little bit of both. But I was talking to some of my coworkers asked to work on my table and some of the people that I used to work on my table and they agree with my statement. So now ASOS. So I went to Blaze from ASOS and there were a total of like a hundred dollars for both and that's a really good deal. Oh my god, I think I'm big. Please don't be too big, please don't be too big. Why are the blazers so big? I mean, it's really cute, but like, is it me or like what? Is everything this on on sale? So I don't know. Actually, no, these are good. This one's good. <gasps> this one's cute. Well, definitely not with um the hoodie, but it's not as bulky as the gray one. Yeah. Okay. I am obsessed with this one. Um, just imagine it not with like a hoodie underneath and my hair not looking how it looks right now. Oh, this one's thinner. Yes, okay. This one looks a little bit more fitted. So, I don't know. I love the brown one, like 10 out of 10. But it looks smaller. And it is not as structured. So, I don't know if I like that. Um, let me check. So it fits really well. It's definitely thinner. It feels like a Forever 21 blazer that I have, but it looks really cute. So I'm gonna keep it. And I'm gonna use this bag to return the other one. You're supposed to add salt to your rice, but you know, I'm trying not to eat that much salt. So I'm just going to... cooking and then once I'm done I'll eat my tuna <laughs> got my naked it looks like I'm wearing a wig but it's literally my hair I don't know what's going on with my hair let's just put this on for video purposes even though it's literally 7 p.m. Um, so I said about this package so then I'm on this haul or unboxing I got a denim shirt because I've been <coughs> I feel like denim is going to be huge for spring and summer and I know, I've been seeing a lot of denim and denim and I was like yep I need it in my life this looks a little bit smaller which is concerning what's if I got so because this is a Scandinavian shirt I mean brand the sizes are always like 42 like what does that even mean um I mean, it still looks like it's gonna be big, but not as oversized as I wanted it. Uh oh. Why am I missing stuff? I'm missing two things that I was very excited about, so I better get them in a separate package. Otherwise, I'm gonna be very upset. I need to check my order. Okay, I got the book, which is good. Are they stretchy? 
get it a little bit stretchy. Oh, they're not that stretchy. That will safely fit. These are the pants. Usually their pants fit me pretty well. So I'll try them on and see how these ones fit. Um, size 42 on their pants. I think that's a size 12 or 14 US. But it tends to fit me pretty well. So we'll see. And then I got the skirt. I mean, yeah, the skirt. In this. Oh my god, they look like pants, but it's a skirt. <laughs> Look at this. I'll say there's no fucking way they sent me pants. Okay, no, it's a skirt. Okay, great. I'm so excited about this. It just, it literally looks like pants. That's so funny. <laughs> but it's a skirt. It is a damn skirt. And this is not gonna fit me. I can already tell. It's gonna be so tight. It is a little bit stretchy, but I'm gonna check right now my email and make sure that the other things are coming. Because if they are not coming, I'm about to fight someone because I love the two things that are not in my package and I was very excited about them. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday and I'm currently about to pay all my bills because I get paid weekly, which is so fucking nice. I love it so much. It is a little bit stressful because you have to like go through and like pay everything weekly. So every Friday I have to go in and like, you know, do the whole thing. It is what it is. Um, but... <sighs> I was thinking about this. And for the past few years, I've been living literally paycheck to paycheck and like putting all my money towards my student loans. So I really usually didn't have any additional money or if I did, it was like $20. And that was like what I had to spend for like two weeks. And mine, keep in mind, I also worked two jobs. So I was working two jobs and putting all my money after I pay my bills, like my car insurance, my car, my phone. Um, I was put, putting all the money towards my student loans so I could like save the money and pay them off. So now that I have a job that I love and it pays a living wage, um, I just find it so fucking weird that I just always have money left over. And I'm like, I, I'm always so shocked when I'm like doing this like weekly, like bill tracking or whatever, pay my bills. And there's just money left over i'm like like more than 20 dollars i'm like am i missing something like did i miss i got this anxiety of like am i'm not paying something like i'm missing too much money somewhere why is there money left over like that's not normal and it's like no it's okay like you now have money left over after you put money on your savings after you put money on your 401k after you pay your rent electricity all that you still have money left over and like my brain just sometimes cannot process that because before i didn't have to pay rent because i live with my parents which is very nice i only had to pay for food when i was at work because i didn't cook and my car insurance my car and my phone and then once i turned 25 my health insurance so that was it so now i have way more bills i have my rent electricity um the water bill i have groceries that i need to buy food that i still buy because i hate cooking i still have my car insurance i have to have my car my health insurance um and then things for the apartment that i need to that add up so like cleaning supplies and stuff like that so it's just like i have more bills but i'm able to afford it and like my brain is just like not processing anything uh, or sometimes it's just like not processing what's going on. You're paying now, like you're good. You're good. Yeah, I just want to talk about that. My face is so swollen because I literally woke up and my face is super swollen in the morning. My double chin is really popping through. We love that. I'm on my way to go get my food. I ordered from this Mexican place that is like delicious. Um, and nothing against um, on the border, but... I went to on the border yesterday with my parents and the guys 
or like the group that was sitting behind us was saying to the um server like that was the best like mexican place ever in the area this and that and i'm like if you think on the border is the best mexican place out there you've never had mexican like real mexican food like what are you talking about like the best mexican places are the local mexican places and even further going further at that mexican food trucks they're superior they're so they're so good um yeah i just thought i had to say that anyways i can out like my outfit i usually never wear um hats but it's literally 19 degrees and windy and it is gonna be freezing so it kind of matches the vibe i have to fold it a little bit better because it's just not folding right it is where we go outside so i'm gonna be wearing my hat and it matches the outfit and then i'm just wearing gray sweatpants it's kind of like a sweatsuit but the grays don't match <laughs> This phone case is honestly trash because every time I'm going out, it's just okay. This is what we're working with. So we're gonna do this, this, and call it a day. I'm kind of scared of going out because it's supposed to be really cold, but... Good morning, everyone. I am exhausted, but I think today is a day that we're gonna be getting rid of our Christmas tree. I mean, not getting rid of, but putting it away. I got rid of my box for... to put in that corner because i was gonna buy a dresser to put there and it sold out for marble outfitters and i found it in other places but it's like twice the amount and i was like yeah no that's not happening so now that corner is like very empty i need to figure something out so hungry i can't wait to fucking eat and at the same time my self work and deliver I was an apartment next to me getting amazon delivery which makes it like the one from whole foods and there was so much stuff i was like oh my god like did i order because they all come in this plastic box i was like did, how much did i order like pretty sure i didn't order that much and then it was just like not for me but that person literally, there's probably like a $500 worth of groceries from there. Cause Whole Foods is not cheap. Anyways, I have Walmart because I'm cheap and I don't like spending money. Got my coffee because I literally ran out of it yesterday. Pop tarts, you already know. Pops, favorite cereal, gray snack. Orange juice, I got the cheapest one because I feel like orange juice is orange juice love this ones these ones are the best i got some big ass bread so i can cook toast i am so excited and sandwiches with that i got banana oh my god why did they give me green bananas i was so excited about this i got cauliflower pizza i had this pizza before it's really good i'm gonna have that right now because i'm gonna do that thoroughly love this thing ham for my sandwiches and i also eat this as a snack i've talked about this before best ham out there if you've never tried it you have to but i usually get also down but like 
I ate this as a snack. Oh, these shirts look good, but why are they open? Did I order this? Or I think they. Oh my god, these are so pretty. Delicious. So excited. Oh, I love food. And the star of the show, my watermelon that I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna cut it and I don't know where I'm gonna put it but I love watermelon so much and I'm trying to just eat somewhat better and have better snacks in my house so that's what I bought some fruit I mean I do have my pop tart and like not so healthy but balance it's all about balance so I'm so excited I'm gonna put this pizza up close because I'm starving Hi everyone. Um, good morning. I woke up today, <coughs> literally at two a.m. in the morning. Don't ask me why. Also, my face is breaking out. We love that. How lovely is that? You know. But yeah, I woke up today. I clearly need to wash my face. It is what it is. I guess it is what it is. You just drink a watermelon. Oh. I put a whole watermelon and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so I'm trying to eat it because it's going bad over there as fast as I can. Maybe if I cut that part, I can salvage it. I don't have a place to put it, is a thing. good this is just half of it the other half the thing is like i love watermelon the watermelon is already cut it's very expensive you literally get nothing so like i'll eat that in like one sitting so it's like oh the big watermelon it's like three dollars you get so much and then I wasn't thinking, I was like, how am I going to cut it? And then where am I going to put it? I don't have any storage bins or storage, like food storage thingies because I don't like to eat preheated food. Like I just eat, cook and buy what I'm going to eat and just eat it, you know? Also ugly. Ikea has really cute ones. So I might order those from Ikea. But I'm just like tired of having to just like order everything and buy everything is buy this buy that buy i'm over it hi everyone it is saturday morning and i'm exporting video clips to edit another vlog i'm debating if i should so i have two clothing hauls filmed and i know clothing hauls were like the thing when i used to film videos they were my most viewed videos i don't think that's the case anymore so i'm wondering if i should include the haul within the vlog is that something that you guys would prefer i feel like that might be the move i might do like the haul first and then if you don't want to watch the haul you can just skip to a certain part of the video and then just watch the vlog um even though i show the things in the haul already when i'm unboxing them but i'm not trying them on so maybe i should try it on and then show it as i'm unboxing it I don't know, I'm trying to figure out how to go about that because I'm not quite sure if people enjoy watching hauls like they used to before. But anyways, I got... You can see. I got my naked package. Remember how I was missing a skirt and a top? Well, I reordered it because they couldn't, they couldn't send it back to me for some reason. So they gave me the coupon that I used and I reordered them and they actually got here pretty quick, which is awesome. Let's see if I got, okay, I got what I ordered. Good. <laughs> I have to say, oh my God, that scared the shit out of me. The video just started playing. Um, The black skirt that I got from them is, I thought it was going to fit because when I tried it on, I was on my period, so I was bloated. I tried it on afterwards and I have nails, so I couldn't like really close it. Um, It is a no, like it, I can, 
I have to put it so high on my body for it to close because the waist is so small and then it is so tight that it hurts my ribs. Um, so I think I might be returning that, but I'm just a little bit easy because when I tried to return last time with this company, it was such a mess because I used DLH or DLH and I hate that company. They're so not good. Um, but anyways, besides that, this is what I got. I got a tube top because I love wearing this, but I hate everything that I've bought. Similar to this, they're so cropped. They're more like bandos, if you remember those. And like, that's not the vibe that I want. I just want like a regular length tube top that I can wear with anything. Um, so I got this one and actually the material is really nice. I'm impressed. Got this size large. I think it will be perfect for summer. And you can find a lot of like bandos or like strapless stuff like that but they're bodysuits and i hate i hate bodysuits so especially found bodysuits like nothing to do and then these other things i got which is what i was so excited about and luckily it was still available so the lighter watch lighter watch then i'm sorry that i ordered was sold out of my size um or what it was my size i'm glad that i didn't got it because it wasn't gonna fit I found a different one on, I want to say it was Trevidarius. I forgot the store that I got it from, um, but it was the perfect color, perfect wash. I'm hoping that it's going to fit because it is an Euro another European brand and they tend to run small and the biggest size is my size. So I can't go outside up if I wanted to. Um, so I'm like praying that it's going to fit. Um, I don't know why they're making their waist so small like who i mean i know people have smaller ways but like i don't know but yeah anyways this is the shirt that i got it is a denim shirt but it's short sleeve and i've seen so many outfits of like denim and denim and i have like these shorts from american eagle that i think are the perfect wash but i think that with that and like pearl accessories or like pearl earrings pearl like things it's gonna look so cute for the summer and I just cannot wait to wear it. Look at this. Um, that's a video that's gonna be going up tomorrow, but. And this screen is so big. I cannot wait to use this with my other computer. I am obsessed. I need to buy a case for this and something better that will stand, but. Oh my goodness. Obsessed. Highly recommend. This is what I was working on yesterday. It took me so long to do. But they look pretty good. It's just a lot of work. I got my Starbucks. Um, they're always so nice in the Starbucks. Since it opened, um, there was this one specific guy. He was like so nice. Um, I don't know because I don't I don't know what it is, but that Starbucks, everyone that works there, ten out of ten. Um, sometimes I get like rude ass people, but you know it is fine because I working on retail, I understand that sometimes you're just like fucking over it, and you just wanna just get done with your shift and get the fuck home. And I cannot. I've I've heard so many stories of Starbucks. Uh, customers and I know people that work for Starbucks and they're like immediately no um, not necessarily I mean I think it based off of the customers alone I could never do it I'll literally be throwing coffees left and right to people because I just can't deal with it um, I probably won't be doing that but I'm a petty bitch so I more likely will be a petty bitch and might make your drink incorrectly or charge you more for something because you were being an ass that's why i don't work on the food industry because i will definitely do that like do not be disrespectful do not be entitled like what the actual fuck like what the fuck are you there's literally no one there yet and i really don't want to go in so i always get a straw because i don't like Hi everyone, <laughs> I made it home. <sighs> I also went to my parents' house and a food there, which is great. Um, I bought some stuff on my table because 
these like shirts are so great for layering and i can wear them to work too like this with like blue denim i think it look really cute like an old blue moment and then i got it in black because i already have a pink one and a white one so i got the black one right here it'll be really cute with like gold jewelry and then i don't need more sweatshirts but like i can I can't stand, I, I can't stand, this was just too cute, and I have an outfit in mine that is going to be so adorable, um, look how cute the color is, the purple, the orange, I'm just going to pass it up, I got her size large, I was like, this doesn't look like a large, but it is, They're, these sweaters are so great, I love them so much, so that's what I got from... American Eagle. I was debating if I wanted to put this here or at my office at work. But I was like, I was looking at buying ones for here. I'm like, I already have flowers. Let me just use those. And I have this thing as well. So I was like, let me just use what I have and not keep wasting money. Because technically, I'm in the office twice a week. Like, who cares how that my desk looks like? look how pretty i'm obsessed they look so real they're from amazon they're like 20 bucks and then my mom gave me this like valentine day candy which i'm excited about. all right guys we're gonna paint and play um i'm episode two of you and this is actually pretty good compared to the last two that i saw it's a very like the plot is just good, you know what I mean? Mm. As I said, did you? I'm kidding. I Look how cute they look. I'm so excited. Alright, I just finished my set. And I'm so excited. This hand turned out so much better because I found, I figured out a trick to make the little hearts or even this one's still cute they're just not super consistent which is fine and then i just need to do the little one i'm gonna start putting the matte top coat so they look like this this one's one that i just messed up but i'm so excited they look so good i uh, mm, 10 out of 10 all right so today it is super bowl weekend and i'm clearly doing absolutely nothing like i'm here um doing nothing so i'm gonna go and grab myself some chips because i really like the lace the wavy lace and i ate all the ones that i got last week oh, and then this is my outfit i don't know if you can see my outfit new sweatshirt that i bought from rain eagle my urban outfitters sweatshirt um i have uh, Hollister sweatpants, they're actually amazing and they're super cheap when they sell. And my ox that I got to sell from. No. Mm. And about two bags of wavy lace, which I'm so happy with. I also eat them with my sandwiches. Oh, I should have got ham. I didn't do that. I got four cans of white. Solid white tuna. So fucking good. And then I got two of these. Again, amazing. And I believe this is so much healthier than ice cream. So, you know, that's good too. Also, God, an or I placed up an order in Urban Outfitters last week. Honestly, this got here pretty quickly. So, let's unbox it. I'm very excited about this. I feel like this my vlogs have turned into unboxings because i honestly get a little bit reckless when it comes to spending but i'm done like i just need to get my ikea stuff and then i'm done buying just because i literally do not need anything else i'm like oh i need this and then i think about it i'm like you already have something like that you don't need a new one you know i get so excited about this you guys have no idea Definitely, I could have definitely done this, but look how cute. It reminds me of the Bagu bags, but it is just denim. 
and it's pink. I have to say on the website, it looked more like magenta, but I still like it. I don't have anything pink. <gasps> it matches this. I can wear with this. I mean, it's looking very pink on the camera, but I promise it's more of like a magenta color. Like that. How do I get it out? Oh my god. It's a literally a little olive. This is a little. Oh my god! Oh, why is that like sticky? To close it. Oh my god! And you put the sugar inside. I also got shoes. I've been wanting these shoes for a long time, and they finally went on sale. They're still not the cheapest, but. I don't have any brown shoes, so that was my excuse. It was between the it was between these and some like cowboy grungy boots. But I thought this would be so good for summer too because they're short. Like hello? Look at this. And this brand of shoe, the Vagabond Vagabond Shoe Maker is a really good brand, so if you're wondering and the last there's other things that i order but they're coming as different packages but i've been looking for some green cargo uh painters carpenter jeans for the longest time and i looked men to women's and i could never find anything and urban outfitters had a pair but they were gonna be too short and i was like i just i can't do the short jeans anymore like it's not my vibe anymore i used to wear them all the time and now i'm like the long ones just look better on me. They just look more put together. They look like they fit me. Um, so I got this. And these are a size. It's so weird. A weird size. It's a size 15. 32. I don't know. But this is how they look. They're like perfect. There's like literally nothing on them. And the model was a size. Oh yeah, they're long. The model was a five, was 5'10", and they were long on her. <gasps> Even with this boot, this is such a vibe. This is a benefit of living alone. You can literally strip down on your kitchen and um, try things on. Or not wear anything. It's honestly fantastic. Let's see. These fit. They don't fit. I'm going to be... Oh my god, they fit perfect. They're like stretchy too. <gasps> oh my god, and they're they're long. Look. They fit. They're like the perfect baggy. I am obsessed. I'm in love with everything that I got. I think everything is so cute. And I'm wearing all of this tomorrow actually. <laughs> Obsessed. 